point of the solo, uh, for, in my opinion, at Juilliard is for us to see your wonderful potential and your passion for dancing. I did a neoclassical contemporary sort of solo um, to a piano song and it was choreographed in collaboration with my teacher from home and myself. And I remember seeing her through the little window in the uh, doorway and being like, oh my gosh, my solo is completely different. What am I doing? I just wanted to do a piece that had movement that I felt very comfortable with and that felt natural to my body and something that I could show that I felt represented me as an artist. It was kind of um, a solo that I created during a con class in my old school and I kind of solidified it and put it to you know more intense music using contrasting elements of movement and stuff so yeah. My solo was a contemporary solo that I did at competitions for the two years previously, so I was pretty comfortable with it. I remember I was really nervous about my solo because it was the first time I had ever done anything not in point shoes or ballet shoes. So it was really different for me. It was definitely more ballet-ish. It was like neoclassical. Um, but then I was wearing socks, and it was the first time I'd have ever performed in socks. It was contemporary, but I was a ballet dancer mostly with um, a really great jazz teacher. So I sort of just blended them together, and it was sort of like a musical theater jazz ballet dance. My solo was a modern bass solo, and it was choreographed by a teacher at my residential arts high school. It was very sharp and the music was dark and fast. It doesn't have to be very fancy, it doesn't have to be in one genre or another. This is your moment to shine in the audition process. I came in having been given the advice to try and just be present and remember as much of it as I possibly could. Um, and I truly just had such a great time.